What has happened to Princess Lativa really? Lots of people like, for example, Harvey Hobart and Rada Sterling are waiting for the return of Dubai ruler Sheikh Maktoum's daughter. Sheikh Lativa bin Mohammed Maktoum's return to free life. She always has been aspiring to Hobart. As he said, Lativa is like a sister on March 4, 2018. Harvey Hobart and a Finnish woman, Tina Hohainen, attempted to allegedly help Dubai Princess Latifa escape from Dubai. They were intercepted by Indian and Amirati special forces and were taken from a yard off the coast of Goa, India. Two weeks later, he was released along with Ohainin and the three Filipino crew detained in Dubai, a non-governmental organization that said it assists people who have become victims of injustice in the United Arab Emirates claims that India helped the UAE to Ill illegally and violently intercept a ship that was carrying Sheikh Latifa al Maktoum. Following the alleged forceful interception, Sheikh Latifa al Maktoum is the daughter of the ruler of Dubai and Prime Minister of UAE. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid al Maktoum was sent back to the Gulf state where her current whereabouts remain unknown, detained in Dubai, he said. Since Princess Latifa was abducted from the yacht on March 4, 2018 and taken to Dubai. Her photograph had reappeared in the media in the presence of Mary Robinson, which was coordinated and enthusiastically arranged by Princess Haya bin Tel Hussein. Let's us remember Robinson is a friend of Haya. It should also be mentioned here that Latifa had earlier attempted to flee once while another daughter of Mohammed Maktoum, Sheikh Hashem Sal Maktoum, was caught by the security men of Dubai ruler in London while she was fleeing since then no one has ever seen Shamsa. Everyone believed Princess Latifa was in isolation similarly as Shamsa as she might also have been drugged. Meanwhile some individuals and crook continue to make money selling the fake story persuading the freedom of Sheikh Latifa although they had neither had much bothered about her whereabouts or even had taken some effective measures in at least knowing what has happened to her. What happened inside the Dubai Palace? Due to being overdrunk, Sheikh Shamsa Al Maktoum died in January 2019. Knowing this, Sheikh Latifa Al Maktoum turned violent and she started screaming, shouting, and had even stopped taking food. It may be mentioned here, Sheikh Latifa Al Maktoum had also been drugged on a regular basis but on 22nd February 2019 at 1.30 a.m. in the early hours a mobile phone was seized from Sheikh Latifa's possession which was possibly bought to her by her one of the Filipina maids. Following the seizure of the phone Latifa turned completely wild and she had evenly started punching those who were trying to approach her at this stage there had been too much scuffle between Sheikh Latifa and few of the maids and finally she was grabbed by at least five maids laid onto the floor and at the instruction of someone in the palace she was beaten mercilessly for almost an hour before she went unconscious. Sheikh Latifa never got her conscious back. A doctor was summoned who after checking pulse etc for half an hour declared Sheikh Latifa al Maktoum dead. The body remains of both the girls were secretly buried in a Dubai cemetery and there has been no trace of it. This is how the episode of Sheikh Latif al Maktoum has ended while people around the world are waiting for seeing Latifa back again to her aspired free life. Her body remains must have now already mixed into the soil of UAE. The world should now know Sheikh Latif al Maktoum and Sheikh Shams al Maktoum are dead. It certainly was cold-blooded murders. Uh, those who until now have been waiting for Latifa should now pray for her departed soul.